This being Vienna, it's hard to know who is conservative and who is radical. And these concepts can change very rapidly. Once again, we don't know exactly where we are. When the architect Adolf Luce said, in almost a prayer, please shake us out of our complacency and comfort, he could have had nothing more apt in mind than Strauss's Electra. It is still one of the most disturbing pieces ever written. It could not have been written by a person who was a profound philosopher. It had to be written by a person who was pragmatic, who was opportunist, and who could reflect clearly what was going on around him, almost without thinking. It's a reactive piece rather than a thoughtful piece. And one of the great themes of this time was the crazy woman. Now, this is not just a misogynistic idea, but another reflection of the strength of the unconscious. In Electra, we see a psychotic, dangerous woman who wants to pull everything into herself. The image of the all-destroying, all-devouring harpy. Clytemnestra has murdered her husband, Agamemnon, who is the father of Electra. The opera is concerning Electra's revenge. When we see Clytemnestra, she is in an almost drug-crazed panic. She is having the archetypal nightmare of the turn of the century, Vienna. But taken to an extreme and taken to a kind of close-up that is still uncomfortable to watch. Es ist noch für uns, nicht auf meine Seele. 
Strauss, in his brilliant instinctive work by a blade is the path for a whole new school of music. 